following me? Listen, you're wasting a lot of time. You seem to have forgotten why you're here. You forget that the more time you waste, the closer we get to your family. No. I have told you to take your bloody eyes off my family. Shut up. You prefer to be vulgar. You forget that you have just one more day to go. Take this. Take it. A little bit of this in his beer makes it easier for you. But failure to do so puts your son in a more precarious position. Could it be that James saw when I put the poison in his drink? He was aware. Maybe his instincts gave it away. Two attempts now and I have failed. I quit. I will threaten them with the police. No, the police won't have matters. They would ask me to pay the five million naira. And there is no evidence that he asked me to kill James. I am entangled in a complex situation. May God save my soul.
No, Chief. I've had a change of mind. I'm coming home to brief you. Ah, uh, maybe you should not tell your son. What? You've got my wife and my son. What do you want to do with them? I am the subject. I collected the money from you. Talk to your son. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Maybe you should even talk to your wife. Talk to your wife. Honey, please, it says our lives are in your hands. Please don't hide your heart if you know he loves us. Do whatever he says. Please. Please don't. Did you hear that? I am not playing any games with you. Look, I am coming in to bear the consequences. The choice is all yours. Go away. I'm here for you. I know it's me you want. I'm here for you. Well, now I'm more interested in that money. I'm in business. I'm not just saying it's me you want it. Please. Chike. Yes, talking. Yeah, this is Scorpio. Listen, do you really love your wife and kid? Uh, listen up. Meet me at Mayfair Restaurant. Mayfair Restaurant? Where is that? Somewhere in Lusegariki. What time? 5 p.m. on the dot. Make sure you're there.
in front of the scar supermarket this afternoon. What was this? And he died for the God. He saw the mortuary. I found you to the hospital then to the mortuary. not true, Chief. We had an agreement, and I have fulfilled my own part of it. I want to take my family home. I want to see my family. Look, Chief Okema placed the pipe. I dictated the tone. I said you have two more jobs to do. There is another agent in Benin that deserves the same treatment as James. And I want to see this James corpse with my two naked eyes. I want the cops brought here before I can leave. How is that supposed to be my business, Chief? You sent your men to watch me, and they came back with the confirmation that I did the job very well. What else do you want me to do? What else do you want? That is true. But I want to see James' body with my two naked eyes before I agree. My boys will go with you, first flight to Abuja, to bring James' cops here. Don't bother about how they do it. <laughs> Chief Okem okay, will settle the doctors. And the mortuary attendants. I want to see James Cops. First flight. You guys will go with him to Abuja. Bring James Cops to me. I want to see you with my two naked eyes before I agree. Do you understand? Good day. That was not the agreement. He's the boss. He has a final say. <laughs> Please, we are looking for the mortician. I'm the one. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you today? Fine. Is there anything I can do for you? Uh, yes, uh, we are James's relatives, the late drug law enforcement officer. Oh, is that so? Mm -hmm. I believe you have been informed that we're coming. Yes, of course. Uh, we're just coming in from Lagos and we want to carry the cops now. When I heard that you were coming, I made the arrangement for you to carry the cops. Thank you. That's really nice. And I hope you've been taking good care of the cops. Of course. With this our watchword. We take the best care of cops here. So now can we go and carry the cops? If you excuse me, I'll get inside and get the keys. <laughs> Officer, they are here. They say they want to see the cops. Alright. Take them to the mortuary. O2, O2, they are here. Do your boss now. You are moving right into the mortuary.
Advancing. Over. Advancing. Over. Let me go inside and open the doors.
can walk afford to pay. No. Yes. No. Or didn't she tell you that was the reason why I gave you money in the first place? No. Yes. Every morning, I will shine her. No. I will shine her. No. I will shine her. Chief Isi Kote Bo Baka Siaya Niko Otomwa The million years of all I need in Kibo Nile Am I speaking to Asolok? Okay uh, Please put me through to Uncle Wabe Ah Oh What of my friend uh, Abubak? My friend move Ha Okay tell them I'll call back later uh, I'll call back later Chief the God the God You don't know who you are doing Scorpion, what are you doing with these people? Oh, chief, yes. yeah. So like you me. are the Judas that betrayed your Lord. <laughs> oh, chief, you see, it's all about Lisa. Remember her, the girl you raped. I told you she was my sister, and I told you you were going to pay for this. You're paying for your sins. Did you listen? Her? You can say that. Again. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire! Is this not James? It looks like. Are you not supposed to be dead? As you can see, I am not dead, you fool. What were you thinking? You sent my best friend to kill me so you can continue your drug trafficking business? <clears throat> Too bad for you. He came and told me everything. With the help of Scorpion here, we set you up. The days are numbered. Huh? Take him away. But look, we, we can talk about this. Move, please. Move. move. We can, we can support him in the car. Take him away. Was out there trying to kill my best friend just so that you and my son will leave. You were here comforting with the enemy. There's no one happened. Let me explain. Explain what? Ex explain what? But I got both of you red handed. Look at you, Agnes. Look at you. <laughs> Did you tell me he was your boyfriend? Yes, he was. But he never touched me. And you know it. That's why you married me and Frenchie. So you have decided to become a whore now? No. Because I'm ashamed of you. I'm ashamed of you! What's going on here? That was the way I found her and chief in bed. Excuse me, excuse me. Please believe me. He never touched me. Please believe me, I swear with my life, he never touched me. He never touched me. <laughs> She has told us that the man did not get to touch her before we got there. Then, what was she doing naked with him? Which means if we hadn't come when we did, she probably would have slept with him! No, he was forcing me. He threatened the life.
life of our son and you. He, he, he forced you. Listen to yourself. He, he forced you. Oh, he was forced. Yes, he was forcing you. But did we, did we didn't see you struggling with him. Neither did we hear you screaming. You were enjoying it all, soaking it all in. I can't even look at you. It, it's like looking at that. Okay. Excuse Chicken. Still excuse me. Life is sweet, life is good. When you never have to choose between the ugly and the bad. He was wasn't me. Wish I had I was screaming that time. He was just going to me. Where I should go and the road I follow all the what you must feel like you know if um, if one has a promiscuous wife but you see in this case nobody can prove that she actually slept with a man maybe but she was about to give me a little more time Look, let me let me ask you a question okay your life and your son's life put together on one side and your wife's dignity on the other side which is more valuable to you? Yeah? Tell me. Well... Look, that... That comparison is not fair. But it is. It is. You and your son die. And your wife does not sleep with another man. Or your wife sleeps with another man for both of you to leave. Come on, Chike, open your eyes. Your wife laid down her dignity so that you can leave. Well, that's a sacrifice. Besides, she did not even do it. But what she would have done is so that you would leave. Okay, what, what about those other women who sell their bodies to feed their husbands and their children? Has anybody disowned them? Look, James, I can see that you've taken side with her, whether she did right or wrong. Well, that's you. As for me, I will not forgive her. Let's just retire for the night. I am bushed. talking to her on phone but she, she needs to see me I want to see her too <laughs> it's all right um, I want to thank you for everything James okay. thank God it's all over yeah you know I just I just wish you put it all behind you and forget the whole incident okay. Okay. James James it would be very difficult what do you mean? Oh, okay, you, you came to Abuja to kill me in my own house. I mean, if you had the opportunity, you would have killed me. Here I am, in your house. 
I have forgiven you because I know the circumstance was beyond you. Come on, Chiki, why don't you see your wife's case like that? James. James, let's just drop the smart, okay? Let's let's forget it, please. Oh. Okay. I wish you luck then. Let me walk you to the gate. James, breakfast is ready. Told him not to. I've already. You can now go, pack your things, and go back to your father's house. side of the story. Uh -huh. Tell me what actually happened between you and that chief. Mama, 
are you here? Chicken. Yes, we come. You're welcome. Chicken. Based on your call, we have come. Thank you. While we waited for you, we listened to Agnes' side of the story. Chicken, I want to advise you like a song which you add to me. No harm has been done. Um, I want you to forget this matter and take care of your family as God has rescued Shuma and you all from danger. Well, Papa, it is unfortunate that you should conclude like this. Anyway, I have made up my mind that Agnes should go with you. That's the way it is. Chicken, <laughs> our in-law. It is true you have made up your mind ever before you invited us to your house. But Chicken, I would like to ask you one or two questions. Chicken, do you remember you married my daughter, your wife, as a virgin? Chicken, are you not aware she was friendly with Chief? Before you married her. Yes, she didn't sleep with Chief for one day. Why then do you think she can do such a thing this time around? Mama, please. Please. People do change, of course. Anyway, I have made up my mind. Meanwhile, Chuma stays with me. Excuse me. Chikemon is it? Chikemon, am I done to you? Chikemon, am I done to you? annoys me most is that what you are being accused of is what you didn't even do. Didn't I tell you that men would always be men? Whether you are a virgin or something does not matter to them. Anyway, I don't intend to insult your husband, but he's nothing but a he goat. Julie, mm -hmm. how come on Julie? How can you call my husband a goat? What's this? Because he doesn't understand that you did it for him, even if you do it. Ah! Julie, you don't understand. Mm. My husband is too jealous. Mm. That's his fault. But well, he's a nice man. A nice man indeed. Spare me this. So tell me, where are you now? Where? My son will get used to his mother not being around. Okay? Even the sixth teacher said Chuma is not happy. She said I should call you for her. I don't think I have that kind of time. My son will get used to his mother's absence in a short time. Okay, okay. I'm off to work. Lock up after me and don't forget to go and pick Chuma on time, okay? Yes, Jima is in the hospital, sir. Sorry for meeting this morning, so the school principal asked me to take him to the school hospital. Yes, sir. Can you come over to the school? Alright, sir. Bye-bye. Psychological, like the doctor said, he needs his mother. 
thank you very much, Mrs. Edu. You've done more than enough for us. But please, could you do me one small favor? Could you call his mother to come over and see him? Why don't you do that yourself, Mr. Chike? Well, uh, I don't want to do it myself on grounds of personal principles. And I don't want to do it again. I've called her and she said I should call you. Well, I don't know how to advise you on this. I have to rush back to school. Just look after him. Let me walk you to the door. Yes, may I help you? Um, I'm afraid Chuma is not feeling fine. And I think he wants to see you. <laughs> so you want a hard lot to come and see your son, isn't it? Well, I've already heard about his illness. And I want to tell you that I'm not coming. I'll hold you responsible should anything happen to him. Now I am warning you. Don't you ever call this number again. <laughs>
Really, it got to the extent that like, James had to throw you out of the house? My God. I didn't know. James told me to come and see you and know how you people are getting along. And then when I got to the airport, I decided to call and then that's when he told me to come down here. My sister, that is the way the whole thing turned out. Hmm. So what are you going to do about Chuma? You just can't ignore him, especially now that he's sick. Oluchi, I've already made up my mind to go there and take my son. See my son. You have been with him up to this morning and you know he's sick, so I had to bring him here. You didn't have to take him away from the house. Of course, I have every right to take me. He's also my son and he needs me. I want to see my son. No, you cannot. Why not? Because he's in the hospital. Which hospital? I don't know. Good day and don't show your face here anymore. Excuse me. Which hospital? Take my son away and I will not allow him. Agnes! Agnes, which was
Maybe he has realized his mistakes and is looking for a way to make up. Yes. Well, mom, he asked for his son. He didn't realize anything. Thank you. Agnes, I'm going to be on my way very soon to see him, to give him a message from James, and I would like you to accompany me. What? Agnes, I would advise you to accompany me. Do you know what you're saying? Sweet life is good when you never have to choose between the ugly and the bad. I am lonely. Never been this lonely since I got married. I want to be with my son and my wife, but it's still very difficult to forgive her. No. I will not. Committing adultery when my son and I faced death. No, I will Where not. Do I go? I'm in a tight color and it's plain to see. Do I say yes? Do I say no? And if I choose, I Okay, I'm not going to cut my head. Okay, I'm not going to cut my head. 
I can explain. I can explain. Just explain. I didn't do anything. God, I have not entered. I have not done anything. But look. Given the time, you would have done something. Is this not the same reason you threw your wife out of the house? Oh God. Oh God. They say it's true that when you point an accusing finger at another, four other fingers point back at you. That is what I have come to explain. Spare me. You don't owe me any explanation. That should go to your wife, Agnes. But incidentally, she's not at all. She went to stay with her friend. But don't ask me where because I don't know. Well, excuse me, Mama. What of Oluchi? She left for Abuja this morning. Chike, if you wouldn't mind, I'm busy in the kitchen. Excuse me! Remember, I'm not a drug dealer. I'm only chief's assistant. But tell that to the Marines. Anyway, I hope they convict him very soon so that he'll rot in jail. Instead of praying for the man that gave a wife to me and lent you five. Instead of paying back, what did you do? You set him up. I know, Chief. So what about this case? I know he'll be free and he'll get you. No matter how long it takes. You see? What pays him so much is among all the ladies he came across, it was only your wife that I couldn't sleep with. He respects your wife. You've got a good wife. And that's the reason why he gave you that money. Resigned from the office. Resigned? Why? The sexual harassment has reached its limit. 
My boss told me to choose between him and getting one million naira or I leave. So I chose to leave. I never slept with any man before I married you. And I will not do it now. Except doing it to save your life or a son's life. In the moment I do it, honestly, I'll commit suicide. Wish I had someone to show and point to me where I should go. And the road I follow will only lead to pain. I'm between. crashing down within the twinkle of an eye. Even when God gave us victory of my son's demise. Shouldn't I have forgiven my wife? Papa, she didn't commit any offense. God, I've been a fool not to have listened to all God that advised me to leave the matter. Where do I find my wife to apologize to her? Everything was done. He's not. Actually, it's you I came to see. Please, do you know where my wife Agnes is? So I should be asking you that question. Come on, Julie. You know Agnes and I have a little problem. That's why I've come here to discuss it with you. So you can help me talk to her. Can I come in? Sorry, um, you can see I'm busy. Excuse me. James, hey, it's me, Chike. James, I know I have been very stupid, foolish and very selfish. And it was because of my selfishness that I did not listen to your advice. Please, I don't know where my wife Agnes is. And I want you to help me talk to her. Um, Chike, I, I honestly don't know what to say. Um, you know, this is not a matter that we can discuss over the phone now. Yeah? So maybe you should just come into Abuja, okay? Let's talk about it. Okay. I'll come into Abuja Saturday with a morning flight. Okay then.
offended my wife by not trusting her. By not recognizing the fact that she wanted to sacrifice her dignity to save my son's life and mine. I should have appreciated it, but I, I was moved by selfishness. In the end, out of drunkenness, I did what I actually accused her of. James, please, can you help me talk to her? Huh, honestly, Chike, I, I really don't know what to say. You know, I... And you, James. I owe you an apology. In spite of your help, I, under pressure, I came here to kill you. Thank God for intervening, yet you understood and bore me no grudges. I failed to understand that my wife wanted to do that under pressure. God, I, I was selfish, very selfish. James, please, please forgive me. Well, Chica, there's, um, there's really not much to say other than experience is the best teacher. I'm sure you've uh, learned from your mistakes, you know. Just give me a moment. Aluchi! Darling! Did you call me? Yes. Incidentally, my wife and I have been speaking with your wife and um, you must thank God for the kind of wife that you have. She's very loving and understanding. There are very few women like her. And then uh, if you look behind me, I'm sure that you see your wife. I've already forgiven you. 